guys. Thanks for tuning in to Surf Show and Tell. I'm Noel Salas, and today we're going over the Bunny Chow by Channel Islands. It's a Jordy Smith model, and uh, it's my personal favorite board right now from Channel Islands. This is a, a current this current bottom board right here is five foot seven, nineteen and three eighths, two and three eighths. The liters of volumes are twenty eight point two. I am five foot nine and one hundred and seventy three seven hundred and seventy five pounds. Um, Let's get right into the contour of the bottom of this board. It's a single concave to a slight V out the tail. It seems to me that the single concaves work best for me right now. I also like the Gravit and the Rook 15, which are all both also single concave. But the, the Bunny Chow for me, it works best in like five foot surf and under. Well, at least this size. And um, what I love about it is, before I even grab a fish, I'll grab the Bunny Chow. I don't care if it's like chest high and smaller. This board has great volume. If you can see the rail, it's pretty full all the way through, so it carries the volume really well. It, it paddles me great. At 28.2, that's not a lot of volume for a gravel board, but it just seems that this board has tons of speed and um, I can catch waves. So they did a great job carrying the volume out to the rails. The other thing I really like is, I really like the carbon fiber on this, the strip on this board, which is gonna make the board a bit stiffer in the middle. And then what's going to happen is it's going to create a little bit more flex in the back. So I'm going to get a little bit more when I go to the bottom, it's going to, and I push and put the pressure there, it's going to seem to have that flex and it's just going to spring. And, it, and I love it when it starts to spring and, and it starts to grab a bunch of speed. This board's really quick. As you can see in the video, there's some sections that I have to make and I'm a little bit behind and this board helps me to do that. The other thing I love is I've had four bunny chows. Um, all four of them have been custom. Um, I really like the thruster. This board is a thruster, and I highly recommend the swallowtail. The squash tail, I had one custom squash, and I just felt like the tail is was a bit thick, and I it might have been a little bit too thick of a board, but it had lots of drive, but I couldn't get my timing to go. I'd do one good turn, and I'd kind of be a little off on the second or the third, and, and I'd get back on on the third turn. So um, I, I recommend this board at least the same height or a couple inches shorter, but that's me personally. But um, for the most part, this, this board's great. The other thing I want to just mention real quick about this board is the Bunny Chow has the wide point back from center, which is going to make the board pivot faster, right? As opposed to a board that's wide points front from center, which is which, well, the front from center is going to draw out a longer line. And this one's going to be a little bit more, it's going to be a little bit more snappy, a little bit more vertical. The other thing that I love about the Bunny Chow is that even though it's, it's a bit with the white point back from center, you'll lose paddle power, paddle power, but they've carried the volume out really good to this board. So it has tons of volume in here. It's got a low entry rocker and um, it's what they have a stage rocker, if you will. The stage rocker is it's not continuous like a banana is continuous, right? This has like, it has the tail rocker and then it has the nose rocker, but here is somewhat flat. Right, so it's easy to catch waves. They made it. They made it very user friendly for catching waves. That's why I can ride at five seven and still get lots of drive. Well, guys, that's my surfboard review on the Bunny Chow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you in the water. Take care.